Hey guys, hope the Sunday is going great. I'm just jumping in for a quick minute. It's a quick little lesson to help you develop a side gig empire on your own and maybe something that you can take with you when it comes to creating a good successful mindset, something that you really want to move forward in life as opposed to being stuck in that scarcity mindset where things are always dark and always gloomy and there's never enough of the right things. So let's jump into creating a little bit of a stability mindset, a little bit of security, while still realizing some of the, the goals and the requirements that you really need to have a successful side gig. Now, if you haven't, be sure to jump into my side gig empire group. You can find the, the tag or the, the link. It's gonna be directly in the comments below. Love to have you learn a little bit more about creating a success successful side gig empire for yourself. So let's start talking a little bit about consistency and creating that security and the stability mindset. Now there's an old saying when it comes to business or creating new or new tasks or something new and exciting. It's a don't quit your day job. And that can't be more emphasized when it comes to looking at creating something new for yourself. You don't want to step away from the security that's providing you know, some substance for your family as well as for your mental health. You want to be sure to add it into something. So you want to slowly start adding uh, this new venture into your career and slowly start peeling back the parts that you don't want anymore. So instead of just firing off everything that you want to do right now, start ramping up a little bit of momentum and as momentum and the cash flow, most importantly, starts coming in, that's when you can start scaling back, you know, that job that you don't want or that career that you don't want, and you can start adding into something new and exciting. So I'm gonna talk about a few of the things that you wanna take a, a real strong, good look at when it comes to um, looking at a side business, whether it's, uh, you know, writing a book, whether it's creating an Etsy store, whether it's creating a whole new process of something that you're really excited about. So let's talk about some of the three components. The first one is you have to choose something that you're willing to do some research on. You need to be the expert in this field. If you're not willing to spend the time and the energy and even some of the money to be the very best at what you're doing, you might not be worth doing. It doesn't have to be everything all at once, but it does need to be a gradual, consistent application of continued growth in that area that you want to really make a difference in. So whether it's reading some books or getting some training or you know, hiring a mentor or a tutor or something to that effect that's gonna allow you to have that growth mindset, that is exactly what you need to start doing. But it needs to be enjoyable. It needs to be something that you're willing to do consistently and grow with. The second thing uh, tagging onto that is it needs to be something that you actually enjoy doing overall, not just the learning aspect, but the promotion, the networking, the creation aspect of it. You have to really enjoy what you're doing. Otherwise, you're not going to not going to last very long, unfortunately. And this doesn't mean you should follow your passions. You know, passion is a great thing for getting that momentum. But one thing that's very, very noticeable when you just chase your passion, it slowly starts losing its steam over the next few months. Because when you start, when you don't get the results right off the hop, it's hard to keep that fire going unless you're getting some other metric other than just your, your straight up emotions, which can be very flighty in many regards. You need to have that consistent enjoyment, but you also have to have those analytics that are going to track your success. So be sure you're enjoying it at least, and you're actually getting somewhere that's measurable and trackable as well, so you can see where you're going and see where the goal is. You need to have that strong vision mindset. And the third thing you wanna be taking a look at is consistently maintaining these patterns and this growth for you know minimum of two years to get anywhere and realistically when it comes to a business you gotta be looking at about five years this isn't just one of those get rich quick it isn't one of those instant results things because they don't exist and we all know that they don't exist unfortunately uh, but the, the sad thing is we always fall for them we get into that mindset of you know I need a change I need it now whether it's losing weight whether it's making more money or choosing a new career we get pulled into that exciting emotional concept of a new life and we jump at it but we also don't realize that there has to be a realistic perspective when it comes to changing your lifestyle. It does take time and it's going to take two to five years to have that success in that new venture. Now, bear in mind, it's also dependent on how much work you're going to do, but you can't actually expect to receive massive results in one, two weeks, 
three weeks, it's whether it's working with the gym or whether it's creating a new business, it has to be that long-term sustained consistent habit of doing small amounts of work on a continual basis, keeping the solid, keeping the strong solid mindset and that vision cast forward. Otherwise things are going to collapse in itself. And you're going to be, well, you know, I just not passionate about it anymore, unfortunately. Well, it's because you didn't get enough of the results and you weren't tracking your vision and you weren't following your goals. So you need to make sure that this is something that you can see yourself doing for a sustained period of time and cast that vision and really be effective in creating those analytics so you can track it. So those are the three things you need to really take a look at when it comes to uh, creating that strong mindset, that stable, secure mindset that's going to help lead forward to creating a successful side gig on your own time. If you want to learn more, definitely jump into my Facebook page. I'm going to talk a little bit more about that in the Side Gig Empire. And on April 4th, we're going to jump into a five-day uh, exclusive training that's only going to be found in that group where I'm going to really dig down to some of the components that you need to have a successful entrepreneurial mindset and a business that's going to help bring in some additional cash flow for yourself and your family. So until tomorrow, have a great Sunday. Enjoy the rest of the evening.